morning I'm going to do a little tent review for an Ozark Trail six person tent. I don't think it's working. Hello? It's not working. I'm going to set it up and go through each of the steps with you. Hopefully this video will make it a little easier for you. Now, I bought this tent several years ago. I don't remember exactly what the price was on it, but it was less than $100. I do know that in this review. I've got footage of uh, actual camp trip. Several severe thunderstorms rolled through that night. I'll show you the results of that, tell you what I think about this tent. So y'all be sure and stick around and check this out. All right, this is what I keep my tent in. I have had this tent quite a while and I've lost the box and the bag that it goes in. I like to tote anyway because I can put everything in it. It's a lot easier to, you know, you don't have to fold that tent up so tight to put it up. I've got everything I need in here. Rainfly, tent poles, the tent itself. You might want to have a hammer of some kind. I've got that little rubber mallet, you know, to drive your stakes into the ground. But I would recommend if you get a tote for your tent and all that to uh, buy one that's got the latches that, that hold the lid down. You'll have your tent stakes like these. To start out, you want to lay it out in a pretty level spot. Clean anything out from under it. Sticks or pine cones or anything you might come across. It'll come with tent stakes. You Probably a good idea to buy extra ones. We do from time to time. So uh, These aren't that durable. They will bend if you're in hard ground or whatnot. Start out, I always start out, I'll stake down each corner and then work from there. I always start out, you'll have a loop, like a little vinyl loop there, and this ring and pin. Don't put your stake through that, because that's not really what that's for. I can probably just stick these in the ground just like that if you have to you know you can hammer that in just go to all four corners and do that same thing to begin with now you're going to have your tent poles pretty neat they just snap together like that got like an elastic cord that runs through them and they'll pull together. This tent's actually a pretty good size. It's like a 13 by 10. So it's quite large. It's not something that you would want to take backpacking with you or anything like that. So this is mainly for, well, I guess what you'd call truck camping. You know, somewhere that you're going to be able to drive up to where you're going to actually put your camp. It's not something that you would want to backpack with. All right, this has got a little loop that goes through it. You'll start to feed one end of your pole through there. Come out there at the top. Got another one that goes down the other side. And you just work it, work the pole through. Keep feeding it through there. I try to get the same amount of poles sticking out of each end of the tent. Now we'll have another one to come across this way. And I'll do that and then we'll set it up. Now that little metal piece will go into the end of the tent pole there. Slide it in there and it helps hold it in place and these are the little plastic tabs that go around the tent pole itself hold it there and let the 
these little hooks, these plastic hooks I was talking about. Snap over the pole. Okay, there it is set up. As you can see, the majority of this tent is a mesh. It's got great airflow through it, even with the canopy on it. It's got this little deal back here. It's got, uh, I'm really not sure what this is even for. But I'm almost thinking, because it's got so much ventilation already, that may just be more ventilation if you got a gassy woman in the tent with you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I was fixing to say it might be for for like a uh, little portable air conditioner or something that some people may use. I don't know, but these extra stakes, you know, to stake this out. I'm not going to go through all that. There's another tab there to put a stake. The tent holds up pretty well. Even in the wind, if you've got it tied down good. But it will lay over and sway really big time. So you got to have it tied down good. It's a great summertime tent. Lots of room inside of here. It'll fit a, uh, we had a queen size air mattress in here that we used to use a lot. We've got a couple of cots now. Got pockets here for your cell phone and other items that you might have. Okay. Be handy. There's one over there. So I'll finish setting this up a little bit better. That's what it looks like, completely set up. Got this little mud porch, I guess I'd call it, out here. If your shoes are dirty, you can take your shoes off. And you can put them right inside of there. Makes it pretty handy. The only thing I'd like different on that maybe is a zipper on the outside. You know, I guess you can put whatever you wanted to in there. Shoes or, or whatever. You know, you can let this flap down. Here and there. If you want. I like to leave the screen zipped all the time because of bugs. And it also zips, unzips across the floor. Where you can roll the whole tent or the whole door back if you want and just leave that all open now i'm going to show you some footage from a thunderstorm see how this tent holds up Tent is leaking. Shouldn't be like 
about that. So that is the Ozark Trail six person tent. So what y'all think about that thunderstorm? It's pretty crazy, right? Yeah, my tent leaks. I'm not gonna say that all of them do because I don't know. It might've just been the one I happened to buy. Okay, so overall, what I think about this tent is I really like it. It's got some drawbacks, such as uh, rainy weather. It's not that great. It's got lots of room, lots of ventilation. I'm about six feet tall, and I can stand up in this tent. That actually really matters to me a lot. You know, smaller tents, I know most of the time you're not going to be able to, but a bigger tent like that that you're really using for several days or something it's nice to be able to stand up change clothes whatever it is that you're doing so on a scale of one to ten i'm going to give this tent an eight it's, it didn't cost very much it's got great ventilation it's got plenty of room the only drawback is it will leak, or at least this tent does. It's a great tent for summertime or even spring and fall if you know it's not going to rain. And if it does have rain in the forecast, put a tarp over it or something if you're able to. Don't let a little rain discourage you from getting outdoors and enjoying a camp trip with your family or friends. And... Uh, enjoy nature a little bit. I'm John Hodges and this is Anything Outdoors.